All right, try this again. There are a lot of segments on this on this playthrough that are like this, just again and again and again dying. Brontosaurus just pacing back and forth. Sometimes they just put shit in this game just for the sake of doing it. Right, you know what? We haven't had a racing segment yet or a snowboarding type thing, so let's let's do that now. Guide. It says that after a few laps, I catch up to him. So just keep going in circles, I guess. Hope the guide is correct. I really hate the speed boost after the jump. For some reason, I found myself just holding the A button down. Absolutely no need to do that.
I like there's some secret to this level I'm missing. Size 25? You're kind of interested in that one. Whoa. Whoa. I watched the, uh, well, the Game Informer replay of it, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, what the hell do they call it when they play a brand new game? Test Chamber, that's what I'm thinking. Circles is getting very boring. Honest, I really haven't been watching too many of their videos. But yeah, I remember that's one. Of the, actually, one of the last ones I remember watching was the, the test chamber of the uh, of the expansion for that Wolfenstein game. New Blood, I think it was called, or something like that. Oh, what the hell am I doing? I said I'll catch up to him eventually. I've gone around this ten times now, it feels like. I almost forgot to jump. Yeah, I can't stand Dan Tack. Him this PC Master Race BS. Whoa. That's all he ever has in the conversation is, is that God, oh, be better on PC. I've actually been listening to a lot of the uh, Giant Bomb uh, Bomb podcast lately. I haven't had time to see too many of their videos, but I've listened to the podcast. Like I drive to and from work, it's pretty entertaining. It's actually gotten better than the Game Informer show podcast is. I don't like the new format of the Game Informer Ooh. show, typically. Pause it for a second. Take a look. Yeah, see, I haven't watched any of their videos in a long, long time. Come up behind the left over hoverboard. Hop on it. Race begins. A few laps around the course. You'll catch up to the borders. All right, you've been watching as long as I've been playing. I've gone around more than a few times. I've not caught up to it.
Yeah, I really like their their podcast. It's typically like two, two and a half, three hours long, and they just they talk about a bunch of shit, not just video games. Like they went on for half an hour. It felt like last week about uh, breakfast cereal. Trying to figure out what Captain Crunch was supposed to look like and which one was better and all that nonsense. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. It's like it, the, the guide, you heard me read it out loud. It says, I, after a few laps you'll encounter them. I'm half dead. Health of 50% and I haven't seen them seen once. If I wasn't midstream, if I was just playing this by myself, offline I would have uh, already stopped and YouTubed it. Okay, what the hell is supposed to go on here? six hours into the game. I wonder how much of that, how many of those six hours are redoing shit like this over and over again. See, that's the later portion of the track up there. Oh, I'm trying to read the chat. Do this at the same time. Not the easiest thing. Especially since my computer monitor is 90 degrees from my TV. Hold that. Uh, all my money back. I don't think a dinosaur is necessary. I don't like this part at all. That's what I was getting at. I'd rather go back to the underwater level, as much as I hated it. At least then the goal was obtainable and made sense. I could actually see what I was supposed to be doing. 